Approximately one and a half million Americans suffer a heart attack in the U.S. every year. A third of those will die on their way to the hospital before they can get proper medical help. Dr. Stephen Soldo of Methodist Hospital in Arcadia discusses key facts you should know about heart attacks. Medical professionals usually take a heart attack to mean an acute syndrome where an artery on the surface of the, art, uh, surface of the heart becomes blocked acutely. And as a consequence of that blocked artery, heart muscle gets starved of blood and subsequently dies. Some patients will say it feels like an elephant is sitting on my chest. It feels like a vice is squeezing my chest. Um, sometimes, particularly in women, uh, the symptoms aren't necessarily felt in the chest. It can be felt in the jaw, the neck. Occasionally some patients will feel it in their left arm. And some patients won't have chest discomfort per se, rather they will abruptly become short of breath. Dr. Soldo explains the procedures for treating a heart attack. Actually, our treatment for heart attacks has been better than it ever has been. Uh, the survival rate is excellent, but it's predicated on a few things. Uh, the most important of which is to seek emergency care immediately. Um, with the onset of symptoms. Most people that are having heart attacks, particularly in metropolitan centers, um, after being evaluated in the emergency room, are brought to a heart catheterization laboratory and undergo an emergency angiogram. And the cardiologist finds the occluded, the blocked artery, and opens it with a balloon or a, a metal coil called a stent. Now, Universally, when someone suffers a heart attack, uh, they're put on medications directed at preventing this from happening again. The most common procedure uh, for a heart attack or coronary heart disease is an angiogram and, if appropriate, based on the blockages, a balloon or a stent. S most patients receive stents. We do not do as much bypass surgery as we used to. Uh, mostly as a result of, of better recognition and a, aggressive management of risk factors. Patients that tend to undergo bypass surgery tend to have blockages in several vessels or in very precarious places. Very rarely is open heart surgery used as a management tool for a heart attack. There are preventative measures you can take to lower your risk of having a heart attack. It's a few basic things. Um, first, avoidance of tobacco products. Uh, smoking is a powerful risk factor for heart attacks. Um, and control of risk factors of blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes are very much related to abdominal obesity or central obesity. Um, keeping one's weight down, a low-fat diet, seeing a doctor regularly, and if you have those risk factors, have them treated appropriately. More importantly, don't be depressed. If you survived a heart attack, most patients are going to do very well um, if they adhere to recommended medical care. Try not to be discouraged. Many people after a heart attack can enjoy a normal lifestyle, normal length of life, albeit with the necessity to take medication.